Hello everyone, this is our boy at Flame Defender Club. This is Mukesh from CSMB. And this is Tarun from CSMB. I am Tilakriti from CSM Department. I am Siri from CSM Department. I am Hindu from CSM Department. This is our project Flame Defender Pro. Nowadays we are seeing many accidents in uh, various places like uh, restaurants and hospitals and uh, many universities. So and these fire accidents can also be uh, can also be occurred in uh, homes and uh, house uh, and uh, offices like that. So to overcome these fire accidents, we have designed this uh, flame defender pro. Our project objective are design and development uh, of flame defender pro without using manpower. So this is our project and uh, the existing solution for our project are uh, basically two. Uh, those are uh, Sea water sprinkler and water based sprinkler. Sea uh, water sprinkler has uh, um, many disadvantages like uh, uh, it, it need to be maintained uh, very effectively and uh, the cost of maintenance is more. And coming to the water based sprinkler, the accuracy is less in this water, water based sprinkler. So these are our existing solutions. And coming to gaps in existing solution, first one limited coverage. That, this means uh, if the flame takes place uh, beyond the limit, uh, the sprinkler cannot uh, reach the water till the specific position and false saturations. In some times, uh, like summer, summer season, uh, there is a chance of high temperature and uh, due to this uh, some false saturation may occur in the sprinkler. And the maintenance cost, uh, this requires high maintenance, it, it takes more time. Uh, in case of a uh, high range of uh, flame or fire, uh, the sprinkler takes uh, more time to decrease the fire. And dependency on power. Uh, this project is depend. This project depends on the power supply. Requirements: We use Arduino, UNO, breadboard, batteries, jumper wires, water pumps, uh, compressed CO2, and uh, other electrical components. Temperature, flame sensors, water, and CO2 sprinkler. Many fire accidents are occurring due to the neglecting of the small fire service. In any place, there is a small fire. It is the reason to the uh, causing a big fire accident. So uh, we reduce the uh, fire accidents. We implemented this idea. Now coming to the design process, we have inspired this design uh, based upon the three-axis symbol of camera, uh, in which uh, we use the camera to shoot in weddings, and uh, we made a two-axis uh, motor uh, mechanism, uh, which works under the uh, principle of uh, like uh, it. Uh, the motor axes are opposite to each other and uh, both the motors are rotating 180 degrees and we use the DHC sensor for temperature uh, recording and uh, a water pump for the sprinkler and moreover uh, we used the uh, uh, servo and stepper motor and we used two DC gear motors one is for water pump and one is for uh, sea water sprinkler thank you See, here is the flame sensor. This flame sensor is attached to the servo motor. This servo motor is uh, rotate, rotates the flame sensor in 180 degrees. Let's see how it was implemented. See, in this way, servo motor uh, checks the servo, by using servo motor, flame sensor checks the each and every path uh, in an 180 degrees. Uh, and then uh, the step the servo motor is attached to the stepper motor. The stepper motor the stepper motor is used to rotate the 360 degrees by servo motor. So uh, the, by using the stepper motor, the servo motor also uh, rotating uh, 360 degrees. Uh, in case we can uh, imagine a three-dimensional path, uh, total 720 degrees are covered by this project. Uh, so in anywhere in this project, uh, in any way the fire was detected. And then uh, this the water sprinkling will be start. Let's see how was how it was implemented. See, see in this way the CO, the my, our project was implemented. Is the CO2 sprinkler. Whenever uh, the flame was detected too much uh, for uh, until uh, 10 minutes, it detects uh, uh, flame and then it was not, 
then CO2 sprinkler will be starts and spreading the CO2 will be uh, starts whenever uh, the temperature was greater than 75 degrees and uh, flame was detected uh, too much uh, for until uh, until 10 minutes then the CO2 sprinkler will be starts whenever these two cases any of the case was absent uh, the CO2 sprinkling will be off in this way our project was implemented thank you so this is our project thank you